Hi beautiful peeps, this vlog is made up of some deleted scenes from my third week in nursing school. Apparently I was in a very chatty mood that week and went on to spill some more details of my authentic experience in this accelerated nursing program here at Florida State University. Our previous vlog would have been too long if I kept these moments, but I thought it would be a waste of energy to simply delete them and never show you, so I hope you enjoy this. I did well on my exam, I feel like and this week was this week was not a lot we had memorial day weekend on monday maybe it was a little bit a lot <laughs> a little bit a lot we had a lot of new experiences that's why it feels like it was a lot we had our first simulation with the mannequin that was blinking that was breathing we had check offs our very first check offs in our foundations lab on tuesday and in our health assessment lab yesterday we had our first simulation yesterday morning we had our first exam in the program today and after speaking with a few students we studied a lot we studied to prepare for this exam because but the exam the question seemed um, milder than we expected right they were they were tricky yes a bit but easier than we expected that's good um, but it was still challenging because of course I didn't get a hundred percent yeah the professor was like this one may feel a little bit fluffy this first exam we had today in health assessment because it had a lot of vitals conducting a health history and interview so these things are a little bit of common sense in there and not too much but as we move on like in exam two in two weeks I think we have cardio we have respiratory respiratory assessment cardiovasculars um and other stuff <laughs> coming up so that would be more challenging um yes <laughs> yeah right now i just want to empty my brain i want to empty my head i don't want to think about anything school like the video just click the thumbs up button thank you so so much for doing so i don't know why i feel chatty right now i feel like talking i go through i go through periods of n not wanting to talk like i just want to be silent and just everything's in my head mm. such a sweet such a sweet feeling just when i'm in my silent phase then i go to go through periods where I like to talk and yeah <laughs> ah. chakra, chakra, chakra. I'm getting ready to go to the library um, I was just watching a video of a a surgeon he's a, a black surgeon based in texas a spine surgeon i just saw a vlog and it said that the, a day in a life a day in the life of a spinal surgeon and it was very interesting he took us from his 5 30 morning workout routine at the gym to his you know his little preparation not little preparation his prep and looking over what he has to do and getting ready going to the hospital you know everything his surgeries his consultations telling us about it and it was just so interesting and motivating it motivated me i got up from the couch Ooh, i just got a, a an email about test prep session with our pharmacology professor and yeah so it's it motivated me and um yep 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 <laughs> like i was saying the, um, the other day in the vlog like talking to you guys um my decision to go to nursing school was very calculated so yeah i like remembering my why and he also motivated me because a spinal surgeon like that is intense i was even crying a little bit while watching <laughs> I think I'm just a little bit too emotional right now but yeah it made me shed some tears because I was so proud of him and I was just so proud of 
medical professionals and it's like I was sitting there watching it and saying he's a magician and just thinking about all the things he has to do and how intense his day is he called his son after one surgery he called his wife and three-year-old son just to let them know he'll be home well the little the three-year-old he really had to try to explain you know that he'll be home um a little bit later and he's like when the mom just had to say he'll be home before your bedtime and he's like this is the life he this is his life and these are the sacrifices and but he enjoys it you know he enjoys what he's doing so there's a thing everything is a sacrifice and you just have to find your joy in it and go back to your why so he yeah uh, he really motivated me and whenever you think you're at the worst or you're not motivated and or you're just feeling down maybe think of someone who is in a you know lower position than you you know a, a worse position than your worst situation in life and especially those people that have been in very bad situations or worse than you have been in or you are right now and you've seen or you've heard about how they pull through and you know how they pulled up their socks and got on with life and succeeded and stuff like that try to tap into their um, stories and try to find some motivation in it so that's what I um, you know consciously making myself do when I feel like ah, I don't want to study but looking at the surgeon and in the operating room with the anesthesiologist anesthesiologist and the nurses and all the people in there I don't really know their roles yet um, helping him and handing the instruments and checking the monitor of the spine and monitoring everything that everything that's happening the one who's helping him put on the gown and I'm like wow wow <laughs> like how I'm sitting here like oh my goodness I have all these drugs to learn how will I remember them I have to <laughs> I have to I'm not the first person to go through nursing school or any health professional profession professional school where you have to learn these drugs so it is doable just remind yourself this is me talking to myself and talking to anyone out there who end in any um section of your life any area of your life that you're feeling down you're feeling um you're not feeling motivated or you see a huge mountain in front of you just know there are others who have done it so it is possible at the same time try to understand yourself too right know your limitations and maybe it's not the right time for you to make that step forward to climb that mountain or maybe maybe you need to take a different path to get through that hurricane you're going through right now so it all starts within but also pulling motivation from outside inspiration inspiration oh my goodness I need to stop telling myself today is my Friday. You know, I need to stop telling myself that because my brain is like, today is Friday. Chill.